the entertainment capital of the world comes Warner Brothers Presents, the hour that presents Hollywood to you. Made expressly for television by one of the great motion picture studios. And brought to you by Chesterfield. Only Chesterfield is made the modern way with Accuray. To put a smile in your smoking by Chesterfield. Smoother, cooler, best for you. And by General Electric TV sets, radios, steam irons, and automatic skillets. All over America, these GE products are making life easier, more enjoyable. Each week, Warner Brothers takes you behind the cameras to see how motion pictures are made. And each week, you will see a new television story based on one of these famous Warner Brothers productions. Casablanca. King's Row. Cheyenne. And now your host, Gig Young, will tell you about this week's show. Good evening. Tonight we're on stage 17. And these? Well, we have here an ice cream cart, a basket of autumn leaves, a guitar, and a broom. But these things are more important than they appear to be. They are the clues to one of Hollywood's most fabulous careers. And later on in tonight's show, you're going to hear just how this career developed from the lips of the man who lived it, Mr. John Wayne. But first, tonight's story. happy to extend a small favor in the hope that it may be returned. Well, I'll keep a match handy. Your report is improving. Oh, your attack is slowing down. <laughs> Sasha, you called me? Look, I don't mind you giving her a little extra brandy, but once in a while, ask her to pay for it, huh? Oh, and my honor is a descendant of nobility. She pays for every ounce. Mm, it'll come out of your salary. You don't believe me? Ask Ivan. She never pays. She never pays. <laughs> Someday. I find the proper spice, and then I have parrot under glass. A man's interest has been known to vary, Rick. Even yours. Not interested. All I ask is a little gentle pressure, enough to make the lady talk. I'm not pushing her around, Reno. It's as simple as that. It's a tragic commentary. It's a waste of time. That beautiful woman, they chased her all over Europe for the secret she holds. But every time they got close, a man died. Oh, I've known guys who've died for less. A rare creature, Mademoiselle Johansson. The perfect balance of both beauty and brains. Was there a law in the book that says only an ugly woman can have brains? No, but uh, such a law might even the odds. She's a problem, Rick. Well, why don't you arrest her? Oh, I would if I could find a good enough reason. That's the beauty of my position. Given enough time, I can find reason enough to arrest anyone. Look, Reno, I've got a saloon to run. You got anything else in your mind? No. But while I'm thinking of something, I'll try the gambling room. Good luck. Oh, I wouldn't dare enter unless I were sure you'd arrange that. I can 
feel the intrigue, Horace? I can feel it. Yes, dear. It's like the guide said. I must beware that it doesn't engulf me. Yes, dear. Horace. Yes? Do you think Casablanca could engulf me? It could try, dear. <laughs> I've spoken to her a few times, but I don't make any progress. Maybe you're not saying the right things. I'm offering her the opportunity to help millions of people. The opportunity to fashion a world. That's a good pitch, mister. Why waste it on me? Rick. Yes? I took the liberty of uh, inquiring from certain people about your background. Why? Well, it wasn't out of idle curiosity. Get on with it, will you, Jameson? You weren't sent all the way to Casablanca to waste your time checking up on the owner of a gin mill. We need all the help we can get in dealing with this girl. We need what she knows. Your country would appreciate any help you could extend. You better read that dossier a little closer, mister. I've got papers to a half a dozen countries. I can get a half a dozen more if I need them. Rick. How's it going? An average evening. Any trouble? There was a little bit, but the Turk handled it very well. Fine. I'm going to have some dinner. I'll be back shortly. Oh, before you leave, Paul would like to talk to you. All right. Eleven black. Amazing, isn't it? What? The gambling instinct. Oh, you're wrong, Reno. It's not an instinct. It's a disease. And you're the doctor. You're still wrong. I just collect the fee. <laughs> Five red. Rick? The wine is excellent. Thank you, Sergeant Portino. I smuggle in nothing but the best. I've asked the lady to dine with me, but she said she was waiting for you. The ladies had quite a few invitations for dinner this evening. I know. Without someone's help, I will have to disappoint the syndicate of gentlemen I represent. You flatter some of those guys. We're offering her the opportunity to get in on the ground floor of a gigantic industry. Her share would come to millions. Think of the research laboratory she could build. Think of the people she could help. You ought to tell her that. I did. But I'm afraid that those who represent world power instead of a syndicate of gentlemen can offer her much more. That's your problem. Rick, I wish you consider it yours. Sorry, got enough of my own. I don't like to bother you, Rick. What's on your mind? A man is waiting to see you in your office. He says it is quite important. I'll see him in a minute. I'm sorry I'm being held up. Don't think my charms haven't been appreciated. The orchid compliments of Mr. Jameson. The wine compliments of Senor Portino. Perfume compliments our comrade Dubikov. Trina, in Casablanca, you never get anything for nothing. Even when you pay, you get cheated. I know, Rick. Look, I have to see someone. I'll only be a minute. Then we'll have dinner. Ask Sam to play something a little bit more gay. All right. Trina wants you to shake Beale Street. I know what she wants. Remember that summer we spent in Portugal? Same kind of girl. You got too long a memory, Sam. Not as long as yours. You think I'm kidding myself? Still think you're chasing the dream. I've turned Casablanca inside out. Where have you been? Sam, you were to find me. the only one I didn't ask. We talked. They've been rough on you, haven't they, baby? They taught you there's a lot of cyanide and milk and honey. I love you, Rick. 
That isn't why you ran away. No. But it is why I came back. I love you, Trina. Say you need me, Rick. Say it. What have you learned, Trina? I know what's worth living for. I know what's important now. Oh, Trina, Trina. Nothing has changed. You've still got to make a choice. I have, Rick. The choice I always wanted to make. We were built for ourselves. And so they were married. And the wedding guests threw hot lead at the bride and groom. What are you talking about? Us, baby. Us. As long as you walk around with that knowledge in your head, we're going to have to fight to stay alive. And personally, I don't like the odds. Rick, all the time you've called me a coward, when you are the one who is afraid. It goes deeper than that, Angel. I've been running all my life. I need somebody to stop me. I can do it, Rick. I can. How? By running faster than me? Excuse me, dear. Yeah? Now, look, I'm busy, Ferrari. All right, so you got a deal that you can't handle. Call me tomorrow. No. Who? Well, fill me in. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. All right, send him here. Never mind why, just send him here. Ferrari said you could help me. Ferrari said I might. He said I could do it. Oh, so, you found the girl, huh? Is she important now? No. Looks like you forgot to duck. A flesh wound. That's more than Portino can say. I did not kill him, Rick. You've got to believe that. Do I? The man who killed him is dead. And the man who ordered it, his name is Kudenko. And he is dead. If all you needed was a passport and a boat, how come Ferrari couldn't provide it? He offered me a lot of passports, but none of them would take me where I would be safe. Rick, I killed a man they valued highly. And they will hunt me down. Even he doesn't matter, but they will hunt me down to teach someone else a lesson. Well, that doesn't give you much choice, does it? Ferrari said you could do something. The American consulate, please. Extension 207. Jameson, this is Rick Blaine. I've got a Russian here who wants political asylum. A diplomat by the name of Dubikov. Tell him I have certain limited knowledge. He says he'll protect you, but the information you'll have to give voluntarily. Anything you say. How about it? Well, let's say he executed the executioner. No, never mind, Reno. I'll take care of him. All right, he'll be waiting. He'll pick you up downstairs. I can never thank you enough. Where you're going, mister, you can't even begin. It took him a while to find out that his iron curtain is really a prison wall. He didn't even think that was a choice, did he, Rick? And I was running to the only place a man can stop. The only place anybody can stop. If you knew it, why didn't you tell me? What did you want to hear? That you'd get an opportunity, a chance to help millions? A chance to build a better world? How many times have you heard it? Everybody said it to me. I was afraid to believe anybody. But if it meant so much to him, so many others must have the same dream. Just remember that they make mistakes, too. Only they try not to. Just remember...
You'll be back in six weeks. It will seem like forever, but I will be back. Mr. Jameson, I'm going with you. Sam. I told her she'd be back in six weeks. She believe you? Yes. Now that they let her leave, you don't know what will happen to her? She won't be back. From the American, Mr. Jameson. What does the man say? The man said thanks. enjoyed our story. And now for tonight's guest, Mr. John Wayne, and the secret of how these things helped to build his fabulous career. I'll be right back. Swing the baby. Spot the arm. Come on in. They're setting the lights to make a film about how the General Electric steam and dry iron really cuts hours off your ironing time. Right now, they're lighting this. The magic button that instantly changes your GE from an automatic dry iron to a steam iron. Look how quickly the GE steams out those wrinkles. And you know, you'll really be amazed at how few things you have to sprinkle with your GE. And now, let me take you behind the scenes. I'd like to show you something you never see on camera. This is where we press my suits for the films. With a GE, you don't need a messy, wet pressing cloth to get that tailor-pressed look. Just think, two irons in one for just $17.95. So save time and work with a General Electric steam and dry iron. <laughs>